It is the home of Murrell and Sturgeon. Until last week, Scotland's political power couple. Now the epicentre of a police probe. The occupants were out and the detectives were in. Peter Murrell, the man who was the SNP's chief executive for decades, was in custody for 12 hours, questioned before being released over the party's fundraising and finances. Hi, folks. This the first big test for the new First Minister, Hamza Youssef. I was told uh, this morning after the event, um, and of course my reaction, as you'd imagine, uh, much like anybody involved in, in the SNP, is that this is a difficult day uh, for the party. But again, I just reiterate and emphasise it's so important for me not to comment on a live police investigation and see, be seen to prejudice that in any way, shape or form. This is the SNP's Edinburgh headquarters, also at the heart of this investigation. Police posing questions about £600,000 raised for a second referendum campaign. This is an extraordinary moment, an embarrassing episode for a party known for its discipline. The question is, will this probe overshadow Nicola Sturgeon's legacy after more than 3,000 days in the highest office? And will she too face questions about what she did or did not know? I mean, I led the SNP for a long time, uh, so I'm very sad about what's happening to it uh, and indeed about what it's become. Uh, but. Uh, we should remember the, the cause of independence and the case for it has never been stronger. Uh, and that's what myself and Alep are concentrating on putting forward. Here, Nicola Sturgeon questioned in one of her last interviews as First Minister. But there's a suggestion you and your husband will be interviewed. Have you heard anything on that? No, but I am not going to comment on... I wouldn't comment on any ongoing police investigation and I'm not going to comment on this one. No, no. Have you been... Questions too on the day she resigned. I'm not, I'm not, going, to, I'm not going to discuss uh, an ongoing police investigation. I wouldn't do that on any issue and I'm not going to do it now. Thank you. She has now issued a statement saying she had no knowledge of Police Scotland's actions or intentions and she will fully cooperate if required. But this is the couple's back garden, police bagging evidence amid a two-year investigation, culminating in the arrest of a man once in charge of Scotland's biggest political party.